FTX told customers not to miss out on the boom, but Sam Bankman-Fried did not tell them he was embezzling their money. The tech entrepreneur has now been found guilty of defrauding $10 billion from customers. Born to Stanford professors, Bankman-Fried is a son of Silicon Valley. Yesterday's verdict is a moral warning for an industry that sells dreams. The crypto industry is so entangled with economic crime and fraud that really, you know, these cases, whether they're FTX, Binance or any others, you know, they're not surprising. Do you think the big focus right now on AI is being driven by the same hype that we saw in crypto and NFTs? I mean, potentially, I think AI could um, offer genuine kind of use cases and potentially benefits to humanity, whereas NFTs and crypto can't really. Um, but I think there is a risk that it becomes the next kind of grifting wave. It, we shouldn't be allowing um, the big players to be setting their own rules. And that's what exactly what FTX and Bankman Freed and others, you know, they, what they wanted to do. They wanted to write their own rules. They said, we want regulation, but they wanted regulation in their favour.